<laughs> Stretchy. Juniper, come. Come on, bro. <laughs> Very stretchy Good. rope. What's that? Stretchy. Oh yeah. Fine rope. We are just kind of preparing for winter. We have had that pile of wood next to the house for quite a while. It's been drying. We're gonna be using it up this winter, but we wanted to get it out of that spot because we can't easily move snow away from the house with it there. So we're gonna have all of our lumber staged over here, ready to go. We've got a giant tarp that we can cover everything with going to be easy to access with the tractor and uh, we'll be able to get some good projects done this winter and we'll be able to keep the snow plowed away the more stuff in the way near the house then the more shoveling I have to do so if we can get it all cleared up so that the tractor can just go through and move the snow it's much better for me <laughs> not so sure boo boo are you not so sure you want to go inside <laughs> Very stretch. You're missing a couple boards from the bottom. Fine. <laughs> hey, Kyle, he's sponsored. You guys have been bugging us to deal with this wood pile and today we're gonna tackle that. Or at least part of it, cause <laughs> it's huge. I don't know how long this is gonna take us, but a long time, I think. This is the squeaky wheel and this <laughs> is getting the grease. So we've got this giant mountain of wood back here that we have been milling for probably a year and a half that we've had this pile sitting here. And usually I clean it up every fall, but I've been milling obviously and there's tons here. So. Like we said in the, in the past, we always use everything that comes out of our wood and today is uh, the day that we're going to turn this into firewood for our wood stove, firewood for our hot tub, hot tub, and wood chips. Yeah. So. Let's get into it. Let's get into it.
We ain't got time for that. It'd be way easier to just make a big pile and use the tractor to scoop it. That trailer isn't gonna actually dump it. And what's the point? I know we're gonna get a lot of questions about this white dog. This is our friend Oliver and his owners just had a baby. So we thought we'll bring him out here for the day. He can run around, blow off some energy and they don't have to worry about taking him out themselves. We can have a little bit of time to adjust to having a child. So he's having a blast playing with Juniper and Hinto and just being out in the wilderness. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
Well. Chipping for a few hours, so now it's time to start spreading out the pile.
Clean, Katie. Yes. Cover the dirt with chips. Go, bud. That's a hell of a rake, Katie. Hope you know. Yeah, it's whatever. Ah! <laughs> it moves rocks. That's how what they... What about wood chips? Well, it moves wood chips fine. Look at that. Look. It's like the mixture between a hard and a soft rake, really. See? Mucus hair. <laughs> Trying to cover that. So I've been looking at this old pile of wood here for far too long now. Today I think I have an idea. This is something I should have done a long time ago. So yesterday Katie and I did a huge amount of chipping even though it's still a massive pile right here. Um, we chipped quite a bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the rest of this, at least most of it, into firewood for the hot tub. Now if the hot tub firewood, I don't care if it burns all night, I just need it to burn hot and I need it to burn fast. And all of this wood is pretty dry. It's been sitting in this pile all summer, cut like this. So it should be very good firewood. But in order to cut it, I need a system to cut it, which leads me to that pile that I just showed you. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a firewood processing jig. Is that what it's called? That's what we're gonna call it. So that in the future, when I have all these slabs, I will just throw the slabs onto the jig. And then when the jig's full, I'll know it's time to pull out the chainsaw and process some firewood. It's time to clean this up. I'm gonna make this jig and uh, it looks like it's gonna rain on me, but it's a beautiful warm October day and I'm fine with that. So let's get to it. And there we go. So it's a whole bunch of something by three inch by eight foot. Doesn't really matter how thick the board is. All I need is three inches by eight feet. So I have a whole bunch of these and I'm gonna put them in an X pattern. And in that X pattern, I'm gonna do every X per 24 inches. Thank you. 
So that should be enough for the cross pieces. Um, obviously I got a little work to do there with the nail that didn't go in, but that should be enough for the cross pieces. Now I need to do the connecting pieces for this. So I want to let you know something about me. I absolutely hate using wood that's bought from a store. I have my own mill. I get to take the logs and I get to turn them into whatever material I want, th want them to be in. I get to see the, the transformation. I get to choose the quality of boards. So this is left over from the house build. It's been laying in a pile forever. And I on purpose don't use this in our deck. I don't use it in, I haven't used this in any project in our, in the barn. I can use this because I got to get rid of it. Um, but I'm going to use it for this, uh, this rack that I'm making. But for the record, I don't like using store-bought lumber at all. What am I even doing here? That's gonna hold a lot of slab wood. I think I need to add some support there. This thing's gonna work, but it looks, it looks hilarious. <laughs> thing looks ridiculous but it's gonna work it's gonna work but it looks ridiculous but it's gonna work it's gonna work can I move this oh my gosh I might need Katie to help. Woo! Katie, what do you think of this? It's good. Yeah? Meow, what do you think of it? She Pretty climb. sturdy. She can climb. climb. That's going to make our life a lot easier, eh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's not going to make our life a lot easier? Those guys.
You got bad intentions, Naps. You guys just stay the heck away from that shit. Chase it. Pull forward and to the right. Sorry, as far as you can, all the way, yeah. There you go. Now you can make it. We don't even have to dump it. That's good. So it's the next day, and this is what is left. I can't really use any of this, but I can throw it in a bonfire. We haven't had a good fire in a while, so. I'm gonna clean this up, throw it in the bonfire. I'm gonna chop the rest of these up, get them in the wood pile, 
and we're good to go for another year and a half. The ginormous pile that you watched us clean up <laughs> is gone. I can't ever let it get like that again. That's the third time I've said this. <laughs> third pile that's been, well, not quite that big. That was humongous, but that's so much work. That was three days of work to clean up. Thanks for watching, guys. You comment sometimes and say, you guys need to clean up your property. So we listen and here we, we've done this. So should be good for now. Catch you next time. <laughs>